that slide. We're stopping the song right now. We're not letting that slide. What the heck? He, you know what I mean? That was pretty slick with the. All right, this is my first time listening to MC 900 Foot Jesus. I'm checking out the song Truth is Out of Style. Let's get into it. This is a journey upon which we shall make some remarkable discoveries concerning that inner realm which is a part of your consciousness this very moment. This is a test. We're not letting that slide. We're stopping the song right now. We're not letting that slide. What the heck? He, you know what I mean? That was pretty slick with the in your window. You'll be on your knees. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What'd he say? And you'll bless the day I came. Yeah, you know what he's trying to hint at there. He, that's some fellatio in your windows right there. And we're gonna back it up a little bit. Let's get back into it. At the start of every day, you'll be dropping on your knees while you're calling out my name, saying thank you. Day I came into your life, which up to this point has been a big fat joke. You were playing on yourself, but now it's time you awoke from this dream you've been having and confront reality. So shut your mouth for one minute, pay attention to me. Okay, so where is he going with this? Where is he going with this? I thought, hey, I didn't think that's what was coming. Truth is out of style. He's talking about all the sages and wise men of old. He's distilling their wisdom into a five word sentence. Is he saying there is no absolute truth and truth is relative? Like reality is relative, you know what I mean? It's, you're the observers. Oh, is he on some quantum physics kind of thing? Is that what he's saying? Truth is out of style? He might be. Maybe he distilled all that wisdom into five sins. I hope the rest of the song, he explains it. You know what I mean? Because he really, I was like, as soon as he says this little sentence, I'm going to pause it and say what I think about it. He's just, just building it up, building it up, building it up. And he's doing it on purpose because then he called us out for like, hurry up and get to it. That's exactly, exactly what I was thinking. But he, he I guess he just knows what he, yeah, he knows us. He knows what he was doing, knows his audience, knows what people think based on what he's saying. And he, he built it up. He really did. Wow. 
out of sight. What you tell him what your name is? Yeah, I hear what you're saying. MC 900 foot Jesus. Exactly how did you come to the conclusion that truth is out of style? Well, I was on my way to work one day. I spied a rocket ship. Some aliens abducted me and took me on a trip to a previous existence on another astral plane. I met a real nice lady there named Shirley MacLaine. The truth is not an obstacle for someone such as me, she said, because we all create our own reality and if a problem should arise the best thing you can say is don't worry be happy and have a nice day well i thank you very kindly for the excellent advice she said she'd bill me later at a reasonable price then the aliens brought me back and beamed me down into this bar but i go to work because Bigfoot stole my car. Truth is out of style. 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 What? <laughs> Why'd he turn to the devil at the end? He didn't even say anything crazy or devilish. What on earth? So, basically, what we have here, this is like some kind of esoteric metaphysician type stuff. And that's why he had all those, I don't know who those people were, but they're probably like yogis and sages. And he, he kind of said something like that. Well, you know, a bunch of wisdom from a bunch of people. I think the whole got abducted by aliens is he was either on psychedelics or he was astral projecting, you know what I mean, something like that. And it's either way, he had some kind of trip. I think it's a real story. I think he had a trip, either induced by chemicals or not, you know what I mean, and that, well, these are the lessons that he learned on his trips into hyperspace or whatever you call it, the fifth dimension. I think that, that these are his lessons and I think he's super serious. I don't even think he's joking, even though he delivered this song in a humorous way. I think he's serious. I think this is his philosophy. You create your reality with how you feel and how you think and all that kind of stuff. And it would kind of be hard to argue against that. What do you say? No, you don't. Your thoughts and feelings have no effect on your reality. How you perceive a situation has no effect. Like, it, it, no, it really does. It really does. I like that philosophy because then you have problems in your life. Instead of looking at the problems like, dang, I have this problem. I have bad luck. You just like look for the lesson in the problem. And you know what I mean? You're not as sad. When you have problems and stuff like that. I like that philosophy. I don't know. Tell me, man, what do you know? What do you know? Me and my boys on the road. Who the go? She told me, boy, you the go. Like I don't know. But I don't know. 